Today I have the Sony A7R5 with the G Master 16-35 lens. So let's take a close up look at this camera lens configuration today and show you the key things that I really love about this combo. So the first thing about the Sony A7R5, which is a huge change over the last version, which was the 4, is the way the, um, the screen flips out. So as you can see here, the old version popped out like this and then swiveled. But if you were vlogging or filming yourself or doing anything, you couldn't turn it all the way around to look at you. So now you can turn it all the way around like this to look at you. You can also have it pop out like this. So you can see it from down below if you're shooting or you can see it from up above if you're shooting higher. So a lot of adjustability on this screen. Um, compared to the old model camera. The rest of the camera is pretty much the same as far as like the features on the buttons, where they're located, things like that. Um, a big addition to this is the jump in megapixels. Obviously, um, with every iteration, they jump up in megapixels. Um, the lens is a really nice fast lens, being a 2.8. Being a 16 to 35, it's a wide angle lens, which is really handy. Another thing we did on this one is we put a polarize, uh, polarizer filter on the end. Um, so that helps cut down on glare if you're shooting for, with things with glass, cars, houses, things that have windows. Um, these lenses do have an auto and manual focus and then a focus button as well. So there's a few different ways you could set these configurations up tripod mount on the bottom. This is our tripod mount, but they have a spot to put a tripod. Swap out the batteries here. On this camera, we're running a um, memory card that is the, I'll pull it out so I can show you. This is the Lexar. This is the A, and it is 900 megabyte right per second, 160 gigabytes, so it's a super fast card. So it's a CF Express A, not the SDs. So if you're shooting 4K video or things like that on this camera, you're gonna to wanna to run one or two of those cards because they're much faster than an SD card. An SD card just isn't gonna be able to keep up with what you need for these cameras. Um, so overall, like I've been shooting with this for a while now, I really love this new version of